Hey, genuine well wishers and constructive critics to whom I am thankful for letting me know my negatives. To the outside, I wish you and your beloved a safe journey in 2022 too, in spite of the three waves of Corona, with the fourth wave and subsequent waves in pipeline called variants of cancer in full swing in India. Of course, all with high mortality rates besides other natural calamities all over the globe. It is social activist and good-hearted preacher, Professor S. Suresh, back with altruistic delight, reborn again and in fact for my 186th video, 186, on Anvil of Publication on YouTube today, 16th October 2022, Sunday. The topic for today is Air Taxi Service Using E-V-O-T-R, Transport Mode of Our Dreams. I assure you, my videos are short and sweet, worth every femtosecond of your precious time. We are mortal, but our videos are immortal, so we live through our videos forever. So I am confident that I live forever, having published 186 videos so far, including this one. For the benefit of society, that too, absolutely free. E, V, O, T, L, and electrical, vertical, takeoff, and landing. Aircraft is a variety of v, v, T, O, L aircraft that uses electric power to hover take off and learn vertically. This technology came about thanks to major advances in electric propulsion, motors, batteries, fuel cells, electronic controllers and the growing need for new vehicles for urban air mobility. Examples are being developed by aircraft companies such as Boeing, Airbus, Embraer, Honda, Toyota, Hyundai and NASA. The concept of uh, VOTL, EVOTL the aircraft emerged in 2009 when a video of the NASA Puffin EVTOL concept went viral on November 11, 2009, showcasing a single person concept, rendering of the technology and concept in flight. Huber published a paper on the project called Elevate co-authored by Jeff Holden, Nickel Goyal and Mark Moore. In December 2020, Uber's Elevate was acquired by Joby Aviation. In 2021, Olo Carter conducted South Korea's first crewed ETOL flight. EVOTL is bound to improve, improve urban air mobility, shortly UAM. Many designs operate without wings. Multicopters typically use radial arms to host uh, motors, propellers such as Volcopter, uh, 2X, or the jets and arrow. Typical multicopters do not use wings, relying exclusively on the turbine blades for lift. Most current designs are powered by batteries, although some designs use hydrogen fuel cells. Currently, batteries suffer from low specific energy, causing range and thus safety issues. There are also proposals to use batteries for takeoff and landing and hydrogen fuel cells for cruising, hybrid type. Many E, V, VT oils concept VOTL. I'm sorry. Many e, e VOTLs concept are for air taxi application. The Google owned company Alphabet has been offering an E VOTL. UAV delivery service since 2020. Heavy lift the drones are able to fly up to 100 kilometers and carry up to 1.5 kg payload. Heavy lift UAVs included companies such as Saber Wing Aircraft Company, Saber Wing Regal, Elroy, Elroy Air Chaparral, and Pipistrel have unveiled heavy lift cargo drones with a Saber Wing the aircraft having a capacity to carry a payload up to 5,400 pounds in a vertical takeoff scenario. 
one seater and two seater VOTL E VOTL for medical emergencies rescuing people stranded in ICs flooded areas besides recreational purposes tariff is bound to be high affordable only to the financially and politically affluent urban air taxi operations also known as urban air mobility or on demand mobility applications are enabled by VOTL capability power and energy requirements are minimized by using low disk loading rotors and short range requirements permit consideration of non traditional propulsion concepts light and efficient batteries are crucial to producing good designs for electric aircraft although helicopters and air taxis are quite different with regards to the travel speed and flight range they are very similar in terms of the vertical takeoff and landing operation scheduling and infrastructure requirements such as the presence of helipads for vertical takeoff and landing Air Taxi by IIT Madras. IIT Madras in India incubated a startup as designed an electric flying taxi for uh, urban commute that can carry people to the destination 10 times faster and at the same time is safe for economical, noise free and eco friendly. The battery powered taxi will have a capacity of 200 kg payload to accommodate two passengers. A scaled down version of the taxi with the 50 kg payload capacity and will undergo tests in July 2021 and the final prototype is expected to be ready in early 2022. I don't think it is ready yet. Professor Satya Chakravarti, co-founder of CDO, said the plane powered by lithium-ion batteries will have vertical takeoff and landing and will be operated by a pilot. It will fly around 0.5 km to 2 km at altitude at a speed of around 200 km per hour. In a single charge, the taxi will be able to make 10 to 20 trips, covering a total of 200 kilometers. Existing aviation laws in India can make flying taxis a reality soon. Major advantages of air taxis, traffic congestion on roads will be reduced, stress to the drivers, air pollution and accidents on roads is likely to be reduced, autonomous air taxis will be a boom, travel time will be a reduced, productivity of employees is bound to increase. Safety and noise pollution issues. E VT oils flying altitude will be low, noise pollution is bound to increase. Air accidents will also increase once the service gains momentum. Engine failure will be common since it operates mostly with a single engine. Engine failure will result in these crafts dropping like a stone either on people or property. Real time air traffic control of these is a must. Hardly any escape mechanism for the passengers in these crafts in case of a failure. Stringent regulations are mandatory, else the service will be a failure. Landing and takeoff sites should be away from densely populated areas like helipads. Success or failure depends on how these crafts are designed, operated and maintained. At this point of time, let us keep our friend dangers crossed. Hope for the best, but be prepared for the worst. Debates, discussion and open-ended topics like this can go on forever. You know, let me pull the plug here. We will meet again real soon with another interesting topic. Some of the statements views expressed are solely mine based on limited knowledge gained over six decades of versatile experience. Always watch these videos with closed caption subtitles for absolute 100% comprehension as per my sincere recommendation zillion times so far. I have made it as my policy to complete the presentation within 20 minutes maximum. This time limit is self-imposed to retain the viewer's attention as a norm. Stay at home as much as possible to maintain social distancing. Attribute to the pandemic novel COVID-19 and prolong your lifespan. Lead a healthy life. God, also known as the Supreme Power, is the one and only one who can put a stop to natural and unnatural events. If we buy a war, cyber war, like pandemics and epidemics, which ultimately pays a way for apocalypse and extinction of all sentient species on earth, for no fault of others, rest in peace and harmony.